this uh, replay, I will be showing you a replay that I had fun playing artillery in. During this match, I will show off to you how important a good artillery player can be for your team to ensure victory. First thing first, I am checking the right side of the map to see if any of the mobile vehicles went to that front already, seeing no trees have uh, fallen. I have moved my vertical to the left side here to begin lining up my shots. First hit, pretty good, doing some damage to the torches. Seeing the enemy team is grouping up in the northwest, I am going to be lining my shots up and trying to tell my team where I'm going to be firing. I did some good damage there, St stunning two. Thanks in the process. Now I am getting my shot into a position where I can damage three tanks in a hit. I didn't know where I'm going to be hitting. I'm not going to do that much damage with that hit, but I did stun the enemy tank for a bit. Our ar artillery players, if they are quite good. They are quite valuable for a team to ensure a victory. As so far, I'm doing pretty good. About 1,000 damage done. And I only have used like six, about four rounds already. I trying to aim my shot where I will not do as much damage to my teammates. Unfortunately, that one hit did uh, did stun the T-57. I did apologize for it, but fortunately, that, uh, that stun I did to the IS-7 uh, helped my team finish it off in time. Uh, that shot, it uh, went off and hit a teammate there, stunning it, it in the process. I would have had thought it would have had gone in the area closer to the T-34 there. Seeing this hap happening to my... Hap see this is happening to my shots, I'm trying to get more accurate shots by not injuring my teammates. So far pretty good, it's 9-2 and done about roughly 3,000 damage. I think now where I'm going to be firing my next round, fire it, stun two tanks, doing a bit of damage to both. <laughs> Things are looking pretty good on my end. The push to the north and in the center of the map is going pretty good while the E-50 in the bottom right side is doing its thing to prevent it push on that side. Fortunately, with the enemy artillery busy, I did not have to move all that much during this match. So I could focus on doing damage for my team to ensure victory. I wait for the vehicle to get in a area together to, to hit both of them. Unfortunately, that shot went way off. Down below the hill there. Or more closer to the road. I am signaling to my team where I'm going to be landing the shell. 
the T28, I stunned it, so so that did limit it mo that that did limit it mobility for a bit, but I did no real harm there. That show it did hit the uh, tank there, the T124. I did did stun it a bit and do some some damage. Now I am trying to line my next shot up, so I can hit one or both of these tanks. The T28, I did damage it. It looked like someone finished the T28 for me. And this is where my usefulness to the team comes to an end. The enemy Lorraine artillery piece would be killed by my uh, allies soon enough. This replay I did quite well for not being a top tier tank. I did about nine I did about nine hundred damage and about three thousand six hundred uh, assist damage from the uh, from the from the stunning I do to the enemy team. I hope that you enjoy this uh, replay as I showed off how well you can do in artillery. How well you can do in artillery, especially if you're playing towards the strengths, the weaknesses, and have a team that can make use of the assistance you are giving them. I hope that you enjoyed this uh, video. If you do, leave a like, a comment, and even subscribe to my channel as well. Have a good day, everyone.